Welcome to Ravens Over. Please go to my channel, also the notification bell, like this video, and please share it where you can, because the police now help. We lost one of our sister. Her name was Serenity Hollis. She was only 24 years old, and I want to share the story about her life and living, and what happened to another one of our sisters. And please share this video where you can, because the police need our help. I created this channel for people with different things to support you. There's a PayPal on top. People Remember murder. One thing. There are a lot of times people can't send in the truth, but I'm you find one that does support them. Make Allies. sure they do not fall within a, a smart community as not being existence. And you know Music. that there are hard to find people that create a channel that caters to people who are different and stand in the truth. Vision and the man. allies sit back and say, Well, I have no problem with other people. PayPal. Let me just stand in here and learn to support and learn. those no judgment. who support so, you. I love you. Stand okay. in the truth. Her name is Serendi Hollis. She was only 24 years old. I need y'all to work with me on this one because this is like a lot of reading and I'm gonna have to do because I'm gonna check out two different places because I wanna get all the information out. This story that went out on, actually on May the 13th, 2021, but I'm doing this story as of 5-18-2021. Black trans woman Serendi Hollis, 24, killed in Albany, Georgia. Now I was thinking that Serendi Hollis was 24 years old, black trans woman murdered in Albany, Georgia, on Saturday, May the 8th, her family believes that they have been a hate crime and the local police aren't ruling that out. Now, Serenity was found in fatal gunshot injuries on 700 block of West Highland Avenue or Albany, Georgian town, about 150 miles from Atlanta. The investigators are ongoing. Now, Serenity was born in Orlando, Florida, then moved to Birmingham and relocated to Albany back in 2019 she recently celebrated her birthday birthday on february the 21st 24th she had just moved into her first apartment on december or later that month now stating working at sanderson farm while she mentioned some non-suspected harassment on the workplace she seemed to be pleased with her work situation now serenity's sister sarah said that she had previously taught she had previously had trouble with violence in that area no dead naming and dead naming that's what i'm going to the next site and i'm going to give you more information in reference to the next site and it's a lot of dead naming it is uh, stating that um it is a high crime area definitely needs to be cleaned up it's some things that have to be changed over the area before my sibling was actually killed maybe Two and a half years ago, my sibling was stabbed multiple times at the house of jazz service said now. So this was not the first time something had happened to her. I'm not sure whether it's just a high crime area or it's a place for sex workers and drugs. Serenity is the 27th trans non binary person that's killed. Now I want to go to the website and more, get more information in reference to the news article that went out. This story is being reported as of May the 10th, 2021. Family members are devastated after the fatal shooting in Albany. Now I need y'all to work with me here because there's a lot of dead naming and I don't want to mess up. Albany police is looking for a suspect who shot and killed a woman over the weekend and family members are begging for justice after her killing. Police identified the 24-year-old Serenity. Hollis family describes her as being well known to community and couldn't think of any reason as to why someone would have killed her. One of her sisters, Shannon, doesn't like this, doesn't think this was a mistake. I do think it was random. I I believe honestly because of the way she carried herself, that's a lot of people took offensive to. Um Osbury said this is said so honestly I believe it was either a hate crime or act of revenge or some reason unfortunately for her mother this was not the first child she had buried now Raman described Serenity as a very close with her seven other siblings and this was one of the hardest things she ever had to go through my family's in your prayers Robin this was my child and having to have buried my two children is the most powerful thing I've ever had to endure. Her mother said, and that's the person that's responsible and the person that's responsible has no idea what they took from us. Absolutely no idea. <sighs> what the person took for us, 
Serena was a special. She really was. She had other sisters. Sarah said that this wasn't the first incident on West Highland that involved her sister. She says that in the area known for crime and something needs to be done about it. And I also spoke that I absolutely want to see justice be served, her mother Robin said. This is not just for my daughter, but safety for safety of mothers where everywhere they still have their children. They still have their children that are so vulnerable to what's going on in the world today, the state affairs. It's not easy, but I can do every it's not easy, but I can do everything that I can do to see that through. Now, this is the part I want y'all to come in. Anyone with information is asked to call Albany Police Department at 229-431-2100. Again, that's 229-431-2100. Or Crime Stoppers at 229-436-TIPS. 229-43-TIPS-TIPS. Okay. Now she's murdered. She was getting a hard way to go. She worked. 24 years old. Very known in the community. And someone killed her. She said she was getting a hard way to go. Um, with a lot of people messing with her. She was found with gunshot wounds on 700 block of West Highland Avenue. 150 miles from Atlanta. The investigation is ongoing. You know, the mother and the family in my prayers, this is unbelievable. Unbelievable. She started working at Sanderson's Farms while she mentioned some non-specific harassment in the workplace. She seemed to be pleased with the work situation. <sighs> so, it also stands that the high crime areas definitely need to be cleaned up. Um, they also stand this and stated that. So, this was not the first time that something has happened to her. I'm not sure whether it's just a high crime area or high crime of sex workers and drug dealers. Now, this is why I want y'all to come in. We go to the other area, it had nothing to do with this woman being murdered. This girl had a life. When they first posted it, of course, they did name her and stuff. That's why I said, work with me. I always get upset when I find people feel as though they have the right to take someone's life as if they have the gift from God to kill one of his children. And they don't. I don't want to get on this too much, y'all, because I'm, I'm getting really bad headache from this. And the family, in my prayers, and my heart goes out to you. Please, y'all, share the video. Help this family, because I, I love y'all, and I know y'all will share this video every way that y'all can. And let's help this family get our sister justice. Because like I said before, we have to fight for our sister. And you don't have to be in the LGBT to care about another person. So please share this video everywhere you can. And make sure you hit the notification bell. So this way if I find out any more information, you will find out first. Anything I get, I will definitely share. So hit the notification bell, subscribe to this channel. And let's try to find out what happened. <sighs> At the top, there's the Instagram button. You follow me, I follow back. The family, especially the mother. You're in my prayers. Let you I love you. And thank you for watching. Kiss the ring.